What's good, YouTube? It's your man BG Tech Life, and today what we got on deck is my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5, and we got that Android 14 update with One UI 6.0. So I want to check it out, and I want to make a series of video going over some specific things, saying how things are different and things of that nature. So today, what we're going to take a look at is mostly just the gallery and the photo editor because there's been some changes in the photo editor, but what we're going to do is take a look at the gallery, go over the photo editor that's on this device as it sits on the fresh install of Android 14. Okay, so I got my handy S Pen here. Let's just go ahead over, over. Got the gallery right here, guys. So we got the gallery. One thing I immediately noticed different about the gallery is now like when we click on a picture, now when we, we in this picture that I took, with the Z Fold 5, you look at the gallery, you can go to information, click on information, and it basically give you the information about the picture you took, and basically what the set, what settings the camera was on, and the exposure, and the ISO, and all of that. And what we got going on here is remaster and object eraser. So let's just go ahead and try that out. Got object eraser. If we go here, we basically gonna be able to Erase an object out of the picture. We've seen this on pixels before. Let's go ahead and take a shot at it. Circle the earbuds. And go ahead and erase. And it's simple. Object eraser. So this is not only native to pixel phones. This is like an Android thing. Now let's try remaster. Remaster is going to edit the photo to with the algorithm or the phone or the computational photography. Think how the picture should look. So let's go ahead and hit remaster. As you can see, it's working. It's working with the algorithm. As you can see, before it was a little darker, it's done lighting the picture up. Or I could, you know, swipe here. I could decide how I want to keep the picture. Do I want to keep this? Do I want to save this? Or no. But this is good, like, if you just took a picture and you don't want to take the time of going through the picture and editing it yourself, and you just want something that'll make it look better aesthetically, maybe you could just go ahead straight to remaster instead of having to take that time to edit with an option like this if you don't feel like editing a picture you take a picture and you want to just see what remaster does with it you could check it out see if it make the picture look better with the touches that the algorithm or the computational photography put on the picture you can save it or keep rocking with what you already got so we back at the picture in the gallery guys so now i'm just going to go through the editor itself because I think the editor has changed just a little bit guys and i think some of the wheel it's got like a wheel to it now when you change your things like vibrancy or saturation so let's just take a look at it i clicked on the four dots the first thing we got is the object eraser the lasso the spot color the color mix and the style which we already went over object eraser you get the lasso where you can kind of like is an object but you know you perfectly can't outline anything but let's just say like okay boom these earbuds again put it around there then the lasso is going to perfectly cut it out and i can kind of save that as a stick if i want to or whatever as you can see we got the earbuds perfectly by themselves as a png so you also got spot color color mix and style style just give you different like edits i guess or different like looks for the pictures, cartoon looks, and things of that nature. This is self-explanatory. We got the crop factor, how you would crop or you would align the picture, keep the picture straight, things of that nature. You wanna crop it to a square, you wanna crop it to a 16 by nine. Now you click on these three circles, guys, and this is just like a lot of Samsung uh, filters. They put these filters in here. You could change up your picture with the filters. You can intensify the filters. You can lighten the filters things of that nature so this is just kind of like you got an auto filter just something i guess samsung with the computational photography think will look good for the picture and then you just got a whole bunch of frosty soft things of that nature now this is the nitty gritty of the photo editing right here as you can see like if i was to really take a picture with my canon r10 and send it to my z fold 5 i could use this app this native samsung photo editor right here and we could change up some things as you can see light balance and i like this wheel that they got now as you can see this wheel that's different got light balance brightness exposure contrast highlights 
shadows, saturation, tint, temperature, sharpness, and definition. So this is what you would use if you was really not trying to put a filter on the picture or filter on the photo that you took, but really trying to edit it like a professional like you would on a MacBook or whatever like that. Really trying to give it a good look or really trying to set a tone for how you like your photographs to look. This is what you would be using. This is kind of like the adjustments that you get when you take a picture and they give you kind of some room to play. Last right here, you click on the smiley face box with this pencil. You can draw actually on the picture. So if I click on this, it's gonna give me an option of all these different colors and pen types. And I can, I could easily draw on the photo. You got options for stickers. Like I said, as you can see, I got an Android 14 sticker because I was able to screenshot it, lasso it, and then save it as a sticker. So if I was texting, if I was doing anything, if I had another picture up here, I could use this Android 14 symbol as a sticker. Also, you get to add text to your pictures, guys. A whole lot of different fonts, things of that nature, different colors, uh, center to the left, to the right, whatever. Now, there's a lot that you could do on this photo editor natively, the Samsung photo editor without downloading any other apps. I'm sure there's a lot of other apps, guys, that we could do a lot more. But I just really wanted to take a look at this photo editor and what's available on this new Samsung phones with Android 14 One UI 6.0. But this is how the photo editor looked. That's some of the stuff that you could do with it. It's your boy BG Tech Life. Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. I'm out. Peace.